Hi, my name is Latrina Wagner. I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, and I am the business education teacher here at the Ninth Grade Center on University Academy. I have three adult daughters, ages 27, 23, and 21, all whom have attended Wayne Township Schools at some point in time during their educational journey. I am very active within my community, serving in a variety of ministries and organizations, to name a few, Parent Life, Willer Mission, World Vision, and Teen Works. I've resided in Indianapolis, Indiana for 21 years, earning a dual master's degree from Indiana Institute of Technology. Though Indy is not my native home, I do consider Indy and Wayne Township my second home. Today, I would like to share with you a prominent figure from my hometown, Mr. Robert S. Abbott. Robert S. Abbott, born to two freeman slaves in Georgia, carried the hunger and curiosity and innovation that defined the free blacks of the 19th century. He was formally trained as an attorney, but ultimately employed the printing trade to pioneer black progress. In 1905, upon settling in Chicago, Mr. Abbott founded the city Chicago Defender newspaper, still in publication today. With high esteemed African American railroad porters at the center of its distribution network, the Chicago Defender quickly emerged as a reputable publication we know today. In fact, the Chicago Defender is noted as an integral player in catalyzing the Great Migration from 1915 through 1919 where northern cities met 1.3 million African-American refugees fleeing from a bloody and stagnant South. Later on, Mr. Abbott founded the Bud Billiken Parade, which was held every summer since 1929. This was a way to give underprivileged children a day to be in the spotlight. In traditional Chinese mythology, a Billiken is a guardian angel, a sort of patriot, saint of children. The Bud Billiken Parade was more than just a procession of bands and floats marching down King Drive Street. It's a commemoration of our past and a celebration of our future. The Bud has united African Americans throughout the city of Chicago with music and dance and food and laughter. It's one of the only spaces that I can remember as a child attending where we can openly and empathetically praise the historic roots that plant us into the south side of Chicago. I hope you've enjoyed today's little known black history fact.